At the beginning of December, I took a trip with some friends to Venice. We spent most of our time walking around to explore the city and to find the next Bacari. I was pleasantly surprised that the city was not as crowded as I heard it can be, but maybe that's because we visited in the off-season. I was also pleasantly surprised with the cleanliness of the streets. One friend said it is because the waters rise and take all the trash out to sea. But I'd like to think that the potential for aqua alta is the reason that they keep everything so clean, so that the trash doesn't get washed out to sea. The food was great, and if you plan on visiting Venice in the winter, be sure to bring a warm jacket. It is also essential to bring comfortable walking shoes, since the main way to get around is by foot. There are water buses and taxis, but no cars or bicycles or even scooters are allowed, probably because the streets are simply too narrow. It seems fitting to make this video with the Venetian carnival celebrations right around the corner. People will soon be parading through the streets in their costumes and masks. And although they say that carnival has been around for over a thousand years, the celebration in its current form has only taken place since 1979. This was an interesting story that I learned about over some bacala one evening. I would tell the rest of it here, but I feel like I would mess up some of the details, so you can find out more about it for yourself online. It was during this time that uh, my body had finally had enough of the stress. In the months and weeks before the trip, I was feeling myself becoming increasingly overwhelmed with work and daily life. My body was sending me all kinds of warning signals that I needed to slow down and to rest. On the last night in Venice, I woke up with kidney stone pain and ended up having to go to the hospital. This is usually the ultimate sign that I am under a lot of pressure and need to take it easy. But also that I'm drinking too much coffee and not enough water, which in the end ties in with the stress. So my last day in Venice was spent in the hospital, where they insisted on doing multiple tests, even after the stone had passed and I was feeling so much better. Unfortunately, I had not been fully registered with the Italian health system yet, so that was an unpleasant out-of-pocket expense, and a good reminder why you should always get travel insurance. It's also a reminder that you should listen to your body when it's giving you signs that you are working too hard, not resting enough, and becoming burnt out. Because if you don't listen to the signs in the beginning, it will give you one that is really going to make you rest. So it's better to listen and look out before something like that happens. Despite the setback, overall the trip was a lot of fun. I'd like to go back and see some of the other islands around and maybe explore parts of the city I didn't get to see the first time. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you have a fantastic week, and let this little story serve as a gentle reminder to tune in to your body and to the signals it gives you, because these are key to our physical and mental well-being. Until next time, bye. Thank you.